Good afternoon, my name is Catalina de Mandas and I am the Special Rapporteur on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. I have been just appointed by the Human Rights Council to undertake this mandate that promotes and monitors the rights of persons with disabilities. I am honored to be here with you and excited to join you at this side event on the Commission of, uh, on the Status of Women, even if only by video. As all you know, this session of the Commission focuses on the Beijing Declaration and the Beijing Plus 20 review process. In other words, it focuses on how are we doing and advancing the rights of all women, including women and girls with disabilities. I would like to remind you that the groundbreaking Beijing Declaration already included the recognition of the rights of women and girls with disabilities. There are at least half a billion women and girls with disabilities in the world. It represents more than 15% of the global population of women. They face multiple human rights violations on a daily basis. One of the primary issues confronting women and girls with disabilities is the high levels of disability-based and gender-based violence experienced experience even at higher rates than the, than the one experienced by women in general. The intersection both of gender and disability stereotypes contributes to this. But they are also more likely to be poor, to be deprived of all basic services such as food, water and sanitation, health, rehabilitation or education, even more than men and boys with disabilities. As a woman with a disability from the development, developing world, one of my big concerns is to address the needs of women and girls with disabilities. This will be reinforced by my mandate that has a clear request to integrate the gender perspective through all my work. As you will read in my first report that is going to be presented at the 28th session of the Human Rights Council and, and on March 11, Gender sensitive will be one of the overarching consideration of my activities. In my view, international and national efforts on disability have failed to systematically take into account a gender perspective. Because of that, I will consider in the first instance the multiple discrimination, marginalization, and human rights violations that women and girls with disabilities face in most of our societies. Today, at this very important event, you will learn about some exciting practices addressing violence against, against women and girls with disabilities. Some as programs for women with disabilities specifically and others which integrate women with disabilities into other gender anti-violence programs. They all tell us that we can successfully address the violence experienced by women and girls with disabilities so long as we put our minds to, to the task. Please join us in this effort. I hope you have a successful event and I look forward to learning more about all the work that you're doing. Thank you very much. Fantastic.